Let's take a look at uh, Rubistar for creating a rubric. It's an interesting site where you can choose the type of a rubric that you want. You see, for example, a lot of different types of assignments here, like digital storytelling or oral presentation, maybe a lab project for a science course. Um, lots of uh, writing assignment types and you just choose one of those. Let's choose oral presentation just for this example. And then it asks you to fill in information about yourself that you would want to have at the top of your rubric. So you can put in a title and your real first and last names and then you should give your uh, rubric a title, something that you know is related to your assignment, so let's call this first presentation. And then because this is funded by a grant, they like to know your zip code for their data. And then um, you can choose to keep it temporary or to make it permanent, and let's just leave this as temporary. And then you'll see that you have a grid below uh, where you would um, fill in items. You can see that it already has the um, gradations of quality numbered with a score, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Uh, and you can type in those boxes. So if you wanted to type something in addition to the number, you could. If you wanted to put in a label like very good and so on, you could type those in. And in fact, you could change the numbers. You don't have to use 4321. You could put in a range of numbers. Uh, you could make the lowest one zero if you wanted to. And then you choose a, uh, a, a criteria. And you'll see that the list of criteria corresponds to the kind of assignment that you chose. So we have a list of criteria here for an oral presentation. And then what happens when you choose that criteria is that the uh, descriptions of the gradations of quality are filled in for you. Uh, you. You can go through and read them and tweak them, make changes to suit you. Uh, you could even rewrite them yourself if you want to do that. But it, this is really nice for beginners um, because all the criteria that you choose already have the um, gradations written out for you. So that's why I like this one for a first one if this is the first time that you've ever created a rubric. So we've got three rows chosen here. And let's say that you know we've decided that's enough. We've made all the changes we want to change. You, know, you can see it's very long. You go to the bottom and click Submit. And then you see a preview of it. And then if you like it, that's what our three row uh, rubric would look like. And if you like it, you can choose to print or download it. Or you can choose to add it to their database and that would make it available to share with other people. Or you can modify it at this point. So let's say you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh geez, I really forgot another uh, criteria. Uh, so I want to go back, click the modify this rubric and add another criterion. And so it's an oral presentation. Maybe I'll choose something like attire or maybe um, looking at the audience. Well, I think I did choose attire. And then click submit again. And you'll see now that you have a four row uh, rubric. And then you look at it, and if that's to your liking, um, you can go ahead and click the green button for uh, print or download. And you can choose to print it, or you can download it as an Excel file. It doesn't come out like a typical Excel spreadsheet, if that's what you're thinking, but um, that is the format that they offer for downloading. So you just click and Excel opens and there's your rubric ready for you to print and use. It's a great tool for uh, people who are just beginning to create rubrics.